stimulation of the sympathetic nerves prepares the body for a fight and a flight situation. This man is walking in the forest. Now what happened? He suddenly heard the roars of a lion from the chair. He got very scared and jumped onto a tree. And then he fled the forest. This was accompanied by fast heartbeat, greater amounts of breathing and profusely sweating. Now all these activities require a sudden increase in energy and that means a sudden increase or a rapid burst in metabolism. Now what helps in the sudden increase or the sudden burst in metabolism? Is it thyroxine? Well, we know that thyroxine provides energy for the replenishment of dead and worn out cells and also provides energy for cell division which helps in the growth of a man. But as you know, growth is a very slow process. So it cannot be thyroxine that is responsible for the sudden burst in the metabolism. Well, another hormone is secreted in the body which is responsible for this and is known as the adrenaline. Now why this name adrenaline? Well, this is because this hormone is secreted from the adrenal gland which is also known as the suprarenal gland where supra means top and renal means the kidney. So see, this adrenal gland is present on top of the kidney. And hence it is known as the suprarenal gland as well. So if you cut the adrenal gland vertically, then this portion of the adrenal gland which is present in the middle and hence called the medulla secretes adrenaline. So medulla means middle. Now there is also another layer outside the medulla. This layer is known as the cortex. Now why is the cortex there? What is its functions? Well, we'll see soon. Now just like capsules enclose the important medicines inside, that it, it, it gives protection to the medicines inside, similarly the adrenal gland is protected by a covering known as the capsule. This covering, which is a protective covering, is known as the capsule. Now this old man was lost in the forest. He walked for miles after miles for six days and slowly his glucose reserve diminished. Then how did he survive? Well, yes, six days he did not eat anything. He was lost in the forest. So glucose content did diminish and that caused the fat and then the proteins present in his body to break down into glucose and that is how he survived because this converted glucose provided him the energy to survive in such adverse conditions. Now who is responsible for this breaking down of fat and protein? Well, there is a special hormone which is known as the glucocorticoid, which is secreted by the cortex of the adrenal gland. Gluco comes from the word glucose and corticoid comes from the word cortex. So it is secreted by the cortical region of the adrenal gland. We all know about the father of our nation, the great Mahatma Gandhi. Because of the freedom struggle, he went on 
of 42 days of fasting. Now, how did he survive then? Because of the same mechanism. Well, the glucose reserve had diminished within three to four days. Now, what after that? Well, slowly, the fat in his body and then the protein converted or broke down to form glucose because of the glucocorticoid content in his body. And that allowed him to survive in such adverse conditions. Now, another hormone is secreted by the cortex of the adrenal gland. And this hormone is known as the mineralocorticoid. Mineralo comes from the word mineral and corticoid comes from the word cortex. Now, what is the function of mineralocorticoid? Well, mineralocorticoid helps in the mineral metabolism. What do I mean by that? Well, it helps in, it helps uh, the kidney to retain the sodium ions and excrete the potassium ions. So, it stimulates the kidney to retain sodium ions and excrete potassium ions. Thus causing mineral metabolism. Now increase and decrease of cortical hormones causes weakness and nausea in both the cases. Well, how? Well, let us see the condition when the amount of cortical hormones decrease. Well, let us take an example of glucocorticoid. What happens then? If there is less amount of glucocorticoid, I'm using GC, then what happens? Proteins and fats are not getting converted to glucose in conditions when the glucose reserves have diminished. So what happens? The cellular glucose decreases. So glucose in cells decrease and that causes weakness and nausea. Now how does it uh, cause weakness and nausea when the cortical hormones have an increased level in the body? Well see, in this condition glucocorticoid increases, then what happens? It causes the conversion of fats and proteins into an abundance of glucose in the cells. So glucose in the cells becomes very high. So now glucose in the cells become very high but there is not enough amount of glucose in the blood. So there is a concentration gradient that is a difference in concentration and as you know it always happens that the travel or the transport happens from a high concentration region to a low concentration region. So glucose from the cells comes out into the blood. And so glucose is not being able to be utilized by the cells. So it causes weakness and nausea. Now see what happens. The glucocorticoid is present in the bloodstream when a person has diminished amounts of glucose. These glucocorticoids converts the fat into an abundance of glucose. Now because of the concentration gradient, glucose comes into the blood supply causing hyperglycemia. That is high blood glucose level. So decreased amount of cortical hormones like glucocorticoid causes low blood sugar and increased amount of glucocorticoid causes high blood sugar or hyperglycemia. Now decreased amount of cortical hormones causes a disease known as the Addison's disease which is characterized by pigmentations in the hands, face and neck. 
and it also characterized by weakness and nausea now increased amount of cortical hormones causes a syndrome known as the cushing's syndrome which is characterized by the face becoming moon shaped cushing's means a moon it is also characterized by weakness and nausea so what did we study today we studied about a gland known as the adrenal gland now this is the adrenal gland when it uh, is cut vertically you are able to see its different parts now try and identify the different parts for me what is this part known as the middle part yes you guessed it right this is known as the medulla outside the medulla what is this portion yes this is the cortex and the entire adrenal gland is covered by a protective layer which is known as the capsule now try and tell me what are the different hormones that are given out by the medulla and the cortex well the medulla secretes adrenaline which is responsible for the sudden burst in the metabolism when a person faces a very grave situation and the cortex secretes two cortical hormones the glucocorticoid which helps in glucose metabolism that is when the glucose reserves become diminished it causes the conversion or breakdown of fats and proteins into glucose and the second hormone that is given out by the cortex is called the mineralocorticoid it helps in the mineral metabolism it stimulates the kidney to retain sodium and excrete potassium so these are the different parts of the adrenal gland and these are the various hormones secreted by the medulla and the cortex of the adrenal gland